Hi, my name's Rhonda and I'm with Over the Hill Adventures. Today I want to share some packing tips with you for the inside of your RV for a long road trip. Welcome back to Over the Hill Adventures. As I said today, I am going to share some of my packing tips with you that have helped me through the years uh, make it less chaotic and um, more organized as far as getting the inside of the RV packed with everything that you need. My husband and I are retired. We are part-time RVers, but we will take road trips. We'll be gone for a month or so at a time. So it's a little different when you're full-time RVing you have everything you need in your home all the time and you know if you don't you stop at the store and grab it but when you're part-time RVing you have things at your home you have things in the RV and if you have two three four months in between trips it can get a little confusing what's where I actually have created a <laughs> a Google Doc here that's got all my RV items to replenish and my RV items to pack um, it is kind of a growing list. It's a, it's a living list. I will place the link in the description below that it has a template for the, the list that I use and then you can create your own. It'll have some of the basic stuff, but you're welcome to you know create your own and make your own list and add things to it. Um, but I did want to share that we, you know, we are part-time RVers, like I said, and um, in the past, a family of six, I was packing for everyone. It was so chaotic and stressful. I was ready to just stay home by the time the, uh, you know, the packing was done. I was, I was exhausted. So hopefully this will help you have a little organization before your trip so that when you leave, you're not exhausted and ready to just stay put. So tip number one, leave essential items in your rig. This way, when you're ready to pack for your trip, you've got a lot of the things already packed. This has been a process. So by shopping clearance racks and Amazon and uh, yard sales even, I'm very frugal. So I'll, I'll shop and then I'll purchase extra items that I can leave in the trailer. So it's been kind of fun. I'm always on the hunt for something new and fun. One of the most important things that you're gonna wanna do after a trip is replenish some of the items that you've run out of. So what I like to do is keep an ongoing list or what you can use a good old pen and paper or I use my Alexa app. So I'll ask Alexa to add uh, coffee to my RV shopping list or add uh, toilet paper to your RV shopping list. You can keep track of it that way, things that you run out of that you need to replenish. Another thing that needs to be replenished after every trip seems to be the, um, the first aid kit. So your band-aids and, and different medications and things, over-the-counter medications and things like that. I, I will always leave uh, extra stash in there so I'm not having to pack you know, ibuprofen or Tylenol, things like that. So that's important to leave those in the trailer as well. So now once you kind of replenish the items that you have in your trailer um, that you want to leave in there, then you have to start prioritizing, categorizing the things that you want to take with you for your trip. So I make it a top priority to um, start with the medications because my husband has medications that he relies on day to day. I have medications I rely on day to day. So a couple weeks prior, we always make sure that we have, a, we're gonna have enough supply on our trip. And if not, you start calling in those, those orders and get the refills done as soon as possible. And don't forget your dogs too. Like our old dog, he's got uh, back problems. He's on a doggy ibuprofen. So we wanna make sure he's got his medications too. And then on to the clothing. We like to leave our raincoats in there and that way they're just in there ready to go. And then also we wanna make sure we bring our jackets, little heavier jackets. We live in Arizona where it can be 120 degrees when we're packing. So we forget it can be cold places. So on my, my list of RV items to pack, I make sure I put gloves, beanies, hats, things like that on the list because you don't wanna forget that weather will be 
unpredictable and that you want to make sure that you are prepared for different weather and vice versa if you live in a colder climate make sure that you pack some shorts some flip-flops especially the flip-flops if you're going to be using the showers there at the uh, rv parks we will go out to the trailer i would like to share with you how we do pack our clothing and i found that we tend to overpack we have the room so we'll throw a few extras in there but i'm finding that a week's worth of clothes give or take a few you know probably give a few days a little extra days you're probably covered i'm doing laundry about every week when we're on the road and so a, a good week's worth of clothing is probably more than enough you want to make sure you pack your shoes <laughs> sometimes it's honestly i have been so focused on all the other things that I forget the shoes. I mean, I haven't literally forgotten them, but it's like, I get them in there finally, but I've got it on the list so we don't forget the shoes. Now on to the food. When you pack food, this is gets a little tricky for me. Uh, I don't feel like I can actually start packing my food until my refrigerator is cleaned out and cleaned up. Kind of like when you invite people over to your house and you kind of forces you to clean your house. So the same thing, when we're gonna go on a long trip, it forces me to clean out my refrigerator. So start in there, start by checking your, uh, the expiration dates on items and getting rid of items that are expired or that won't be any good when you, by the time you get back from your trip. Also, don't forget to add those items to your shopping list. If you have a home shopping list and add those, um, if it's something that you need to take with you, then add that to your RV item shopping list. Another tip, what I like to do is I will assess what's in the refrigerator and if there's ground beef or there's chicken, I will make a, a meal plan based on kind of what's in there of things that I want to use up before we leave or maybe you want to make a meal and bring it with you so the first day or so you don't have to worry about making meals. Next, what I'll do is after I go through the refrigerator, you've gone through your produce drawer, you've gone through your meat drawer, you're going to want to go ahead and go through the freezer as well and do all that as well. And then you want to make sure you go ahead and turn on your refrigerator in the RV and get it running because I want to say it's probably going to be a good 48 hours before it's cold and ready to start, you know, uh, packing in food. Next, we're going to move on to the pantry. Now, in the pantry, I would say that bread items are the most sensitive items, time sensitive. So you're gonna to wanna to look at your expiration dates on the bread, decide am I gonna use it, am I taking it with me? And go ahead and start a spot on your counter or your table that you want to start putting things that are gonna go into the trailer because you can start packing up pantry items. There's, you know, why not? Let's get them, let's get them in there. What I like to do is grab my laundry basket and I kind of pile things in that laundry basket and I will take it into the trailer and go ahead and put things away in the pantry. And that way, um, it's one less thing to do. You can start that probably, you know, a week before your trip. Here's a couple tips. I like to go to the grocery store for our RV trip at least two days before our trip. And probably, probably not much sooner than that, um, but I don't wanna go the day before because it is a chore in itself. And then the night before our trip, we order takeout or we'll go pick up food. So just make it easy on yourself. Don't try to plan a meal that night necessarily uh, because there's always gonna be those last minute things that you have to do and don't make cooking one of them. Now, if you have pets, you don't forget all their stuff too. And if they're like mine at all, mine gets so nervous and they start seeing us pack or God forbid we bring out a, a suitcase, they're beside themselves. But what we'll do is we'll start packing, but we'll put their stuff by the door so that they can see that they're coming to you. Now, don't forget, you got to pack your uh, toiletries and your electronics and a lot of that stuff is best packed the night before. And that's why I've added a lot of those things to my RV list of items to pack. And you want to make sure that you don't forget you know, your cell phone chargers and we have headlamps, headlamp chargers, things like that. So another item is usually the last thing that we pack are our pillows. If you're like us, we don't leave pillows in the trailer because we have like our favorites. So uh, make sure you pack the pillows, very important. 
Now let's go in the trailer and take a look. I wanna show you where we pack our stuff, how we store our clothes, our shoes, all those things. And um, hopefully this helps you guys. It just should be some simple tips. I know you're gonna find your own way, but um, I wanted to share this because it is a very timely chore packing and getting everything in there. And if you're driving down the road and you realize you forgot something, just embrace it as part of the adventure. All right, let's go take a look. So we're in our Grand Design 2500 RL, and this is what we use for the pantry. So um, we do have, a, it's 2021, and um, this is our pantry space. So what I use are these, these bins. Not a huge fan of it, but you know, it is what it is. It is at a slant, so it makes it a little bit difficult, but um, but it works. So it fits, you know, it fits these bins, um, a couple this way, and then these can be side by side. So you've got, got those, but I've got my um, pantry items that we need there. And then I brought a few other things in. Oh, the husband doesn't know I got this, but it's coming with us. Um, so I've got an emergency cheesecake to make. <laughs> so I just try to put um, a few items in there that we, you know, that we will need to take with us. Of course, we can go grocery shopping, you know, on the road, but this will get us started and it gets a few things out of my pantry. I've checked the dates on them, made sure everything was good. I do have to add salsa to my Alexa RV shopping list, so I'll make sure to do that. Alexa, add salsa to my RV shopping list. I've added salsa to R V shopping. Up above the TV here, I have these bins that I bought at, um, this is from Home Depot, and it actually was $2.47, and I love them because they're, they're just real bendable. But I kind of use this as a, um, my produce, and then I can uh, throw some onions and stuff in there. It's like a little fruit fruit and vegetable basket there. Um, got extra paper towels up there. We've got a little basket back there that has the um, stuff for the picnic tables, just your forks and knives and things. We've got our rice cooker steamer here. And just a few little extra things we have. Um, uh oh. So I have some flour and then we have sugar. I've got to find another bin like this or a little container for our sugar. And we have our toaster back there and then just our little packets and things up here. But that's how we store. Okay. <laughs> but that's how we store our items. Um, there's, pl there's plenty of store space in this. I find that we've got plenty of room. Never hurting for room in this place. No, I don't think we ever use it all, do you? No, we don't. We don't. We have the under the dinette storage. So just be, to pack it easier, I like to take all this off. It's just not the easiest thing to get to once you... But I like to store it this way. So this is where I'll store like our extra water and drinks and things like that. So up underneath the, um, the dinette. This side we've made the pet, <laughs> the pet bin or pet cubby. So um, we've got, we pack towels just in case they get dirty and need a bath. So I've got bath towels for the dogs. Um, we've got a, a protecting blanket that we'll put on our couch for the dogs so they can get on the couch. I've got their bowls, um, very important. Got their treats for the road. Um, also we will put all their food uh, camp food, their dry food down here as well. Love this little cubby up here for the paper towels. And this is what I, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with this, but I'm actually leave napkins are up there. I leave my little napkin holder up there. These are our placemats that I leave up there. And then paper towels, so it goes a couple deep. And they're not coming out. You know, you kind of can squish them to get them out, but they're not gonna come out on their own. So this is a perfect little spot for that. And while we're talking packing, these are things that should already be in here. You've got your paper plates, you've got paper bowls. Um, you, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I just thought these were really cute and I got them at the Dollar General. Looks to me like a one scoop ice cream bowl. Oh, that's perfect, huh? 
and then we can even share. But anyway, <laughs> these are the kind of things that I go roam around stores. And, oh, that'd be perfect for the trailer. <laughs> you always can find things you just never knew you needed. But we have our bowls and um, uh, a pie dish so I can make my cheesecake. But anyway, so that's just kind of how that goes. I, I do keep back in there. We have like our blender bottle and then water bottles down there and then just some more, you know, storage things for uh, leftovers and whatnot. So you wanna make sure you have those too. And these are the items that stay in here. I like to keep them in here. Our Keurig stays in here. Uh, we've got cups and uh, coffee mugs. I do like to keep our little, um, what would you call a percolator? And because if we're gonna be staying at a place that does not have electricity, then we can still have our coffee. So most important, most important. And then of course we have, this bin will be for our medicines. This bin is our coffee. This bin some extra spices and whatnot. Okay. The spices also are over here. We've got all our spices here. Um, if you haven't seen my storage ideas video, this is, I actually installed this um, and we love it. We lo absolutely love it. Uh, we just kind of keep the extra olive oil. There's Dawn, there's some dish soap, uh, cooking oil, sanitizer, things like that. Uh, I like to keep the sanitizer here because um, when we come in to at a, from a rest stop and we need to just put something on our hands real quick to grab food out of the fridge, then it's nice and handy. We really like the sliding drawer that's under here, underneath the bed. And this is where we put our shoes. Um, like I said, we are almost ready to start packing in our clothes and whatnot, but this will hold Stan's shoes. It holds my shoes. It's great. It slides back and forth. There's plenty of space still up underneath the um up underneath the drawer and then speaking of things that we leave in the trailer of course if you do want that full list go to our website and um there is a, a blog my very first blog ever <laughs> maybe the last one who knows but um we have a, a sweeper like a little vacuum and then a fan we have electric heater and then i do like to keep this is actually um, a great little bag for the laundry you know, we'll carry the laundry. Um, actually, I put the clean laundry in there and then uh, we'll keep that down here because it collapses and then a beach bag and we've got a shower bag in case we need to get to the showers. And then just our simple little laundry basket here that we leave right under there, which makes it super convenient because you can shut this and then just close it right up or just lift it up and just flop something in there super easy. What we have in the closets here they are great, they're really deep. But like I said, we leave our rain jackets, um, we have our jackets in here, and then we'll be starting our packing soon, but there's plenty of room. So I tend to hang up, well, we, I actually found these at a yard sale. Some I bought at the Dollar General, and then these were at a yard sale, and I, I sprayed them with Lysol and you know cleaned them up a little. They were actually in great shape, but, so Stan has a bunch on his side and then this helps the clothes from, they're like the velvet, so the clothes don't slide off um, and fall to the bottom of your wardrobe here. So we'll hang up t-shirts, things like that, till this is full. And then um, in here right now, I actually have an electric blanket and that is ready to go on. And then I actually have a, I don't know if you can see to the back of there, it's a little storage bin that keeps our um, extra set of sheets in there. That's probably this wide and that's like to the back here. We have that. So there is so much space. So that will be our clothes. Um, you know, in here we're gonna have our undergarments, pajamas, things like that, t-shirts and things like that. There's just, these the drawers are deep. There's plenty of space. And like I said, you're gonna do laundry about a week in. So, you know, if, if these, if you fill these up then you, and overflowing, you're probably taking too much. So start weeding out what you probably don't necessarily need. And don't forget, you're going to buy t-shirts too from the places that you go, your souvenir shirts. So you're going to always have, uh, come back with a little more than you started with. So up over the bed, um, these cubbies are great for, so what we'll do is we put our jeans up there. Um, I've got some sweats and then um, workout clothes. And I just kind of do one, two, three. 
you can actually do a double row, you know, if you wanted to, you can have your workout clothes, things that you, you know, sweats, things that you're not going to use uh, that often. I thought about getting bins, and, but it's, there's not a lot of space right here. And so I figured that's probably more hassle than me getting, you know, up on the bed like this and just uh, getting to my clothes like that. And then Stan will have, you know, plenty of room on that side. They're nice and deep and plenty of space. Of course, if you don't want to forget your hats, your beanies, gloves, things like that, because it could be a little cooler. So I have these little pocketed uh, hanging storage things and they hold our hats perfect. And our, you've probably seen, seen these in my storage video, but I'm um, just going to show you. This is what we do with the little things like that. You can actually use them for um, your chargers and things like that if you wanted to. Stan's got one on his side. And then we'll, um, we'll use our, we have the command hooks hanging up here where we'll hang, you know, our jackets and things as we travel, we'll have things that we use more often, sweatshirts and things like that that'll hang from here. So this is my first aid kit. It's graduated from this little tiny red bag uh, to this. <laughs> so, um, but these are the items that are going to be on that Google Doc that I have. So it's like Benadryl and it's like Neosporin and tape and Band-Aids and things like that. So um, night medicine, day medicine, things like that, that you're going to want to make sure that you replenish after each trip. You want to just either jot that down or put that on your Alexa shopping list. Um, this is a little bit bigger. I wasn't sure where I was going to be able to keep it. It doesn't fit in the little cubbies there. It doesn't fit above where I've had things before. So I'm thinking the only place I can, that's not going to fit there. The only place I can keep it is right up under here. So I think that's going to be a perfect spot for it. It's going to be convenient to get to. Of course, we'll put the little, little trash on top, but that can come out, you know, when we get to get to places. This is where I've been keeping the extra bags that kind of drive you nutty. I got them on a hook here in a little hanging uh, fabric storage bag and they just hang and then it just fits perfect right there. Um, I hope it's been helpful. If you guys found some value in this video, if you could give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, please do. You can hit the subscribe button and there's a bell that will notify you. And we also wanted to let you know that by subscribing, there's no, there's no commitment. <laughs> and there's no cost. And there's no cost. It's free. Just, if you are interested in the Google Doc template that I've started for you, you can go ahead and look in the description below and you can open that Google Doc and then you can add things that you'd like. If I can help you in any way, organize, give you ideas. If you want to share ideas, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm, I love it. I, I appreciate that. I love this community. For a more extensive list on the items that we like to leave in the trailer, check us out on overthehilladventures.life. And that's our website. And you can check out the blog that's on there. And that'll give you a list of the things that we like to keep in the trailer. And um, you can go, get to our videos that way. Um, it tells a little bit more about our background and all. So we thank you for joining us. Thank you guys. We appreciate you and God bless you.